If you haven't already noticed by now, over here in your mail folder up in the navigation pane, you have what are called search folders. They are folders that contain shortcuts of items that match a certain criteria. For example, when I expand this, you can see I've got two search folders, one for any emails that are categorized or assigned a category, and another one for large emails, emails that are over a certain size. So first of all, the categorized mail. When I click on this search folder right here, it's going to look in all the folders for any emails that have a category assigned to it. As you can tell over here in the inbox, I've got one for this message, assigned the business category, and this one's the IT. So when I click again on the search folder, it pulls those two in. Now, deleting a search folder won't delete these items in the search folder, but you can open up this item here and double click and delete it. And if you delete it here, it's going to delete it not only in the search folder, but whatever original folder it was sitting in. And this was sitting in the inbox. Let me close out of that. In other words, these search folders are a way to view specified messages without changing their organization or location from their original folders. So instead of creating a folder and pulling in messages from your inbox, your manager's folder, and all these other folders and changing them and putting them into a new folder, leave them alone in their location. Just create a search folder and it will pull in a, an image of those items or a copy of them. Again, keep in mind you don't want to delete them here because you'll delete the item from its original folder, but you can delete the search folders without deleting the original items within. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and create a new search folder and this one's going to be searching mail from a specific person. To do that, I'm going to come up here, click on the file menu, go down to new, and then over and down and click on search folder. You got a lot of options here, but the one I want is to select mail from a specific, well, people here. And then down below I want to define those people. I'll click on the choose button. Now if the people aren't listed in your global address list or in your local contacts folder, you can come down here and just type in their email address and then click OK, click OK again and we're done. Now I have the search folder for any emails that are from xp at dreamforce.us. Where's the message pulling from? Well it tells me right here from the inbox. Now the reason why it's showing which folder it's pulled from is because of the view setting. If you come up here, click on view and go down to arrange by, you can see that the folder is checked. So it's going to group all these by folder. So if I had now the reason why it's being grouped by the folder it's being pulled from is because of the default setting view. In other words, if you come up here to view, go down to arrange by, you see folder selected. So if we had other email messages from xp at dreamforce.us from let's say the manager folder it was sitting in there, then I would have in manager folder and I would have a list of however many email messages from xp at dreamforce.us were sitting in that folder. Now like I said, you can delete the search folder and it won't delete the item. Let's try it out. I'm going to go ahead and right click, go down to delete xp at dreamforce.us and confirm it. Now when I go back to the inbox, my xp at dreamforce.us summer camp should still be there and it is. Now let's do one more. I want to be able to create a custom search folder. Let's say I want to be able to pull in any email that has the word office supplies or computers in it because I want to be able to pull that in and find out how much we're spending or who's purchasing these office supplies. To do that, come up here again and click on File and go down to New, or instead of doing that, you can simply right-click on the Search Folders and click on New Search Folder. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and select Create a Custom Search Folder, click on Choose, give it a name, we'll call it Office Supplies Folder, and then the criteria I want to set. Click on the Criteria button, so anytime I see these words like Computers or any other items I want to type in that I want to search for, I'll add them up here but I'm fine right now with computers. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Click OK again and there we go. You see where it says loading? It's searching more than just the inbox which has, let me go to the inbox, carry, where it says new computers. There's the word computers. If I go back to the search folder, office supplies, it updates and it found new computers in the inbox, one of them, and it found another one in the send items folder which is from me that I forwarded on to, I don't know who, let me double click to open it up. Let's forward it on to Jason Randolph. Now if you don't like your settings and you want to change it, customize it a bit more, you can go ahead and right click on the search folder and go down to customize. And then click on the criteria button, make any additional changes you'd like, like more search words or specifically who it's from or who you sent it to and more choices and so on as we covered and talked about in previous training videos. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel and click OK and that looks good. 
So in other words, the purpose of your search folders is a way to view specified messages without changing their organization or location from their original folders. So again, without having to go into each folder here, you can leave them where they're at and just create a search folder and it'll pull in a link to those messages within your search folder here. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.